Hey, what's up? I'm Jack and Destiny and Kevin. I'm Kevin. Doing what we do best, talking about counseling and stuff, helping folks out with issues. Um, Destiny, how do you help a, a young person um, uh, navigate through dating when they start dating somebody and they realize that person is super, super self-absorbed? Ooh, that's a, that's a good question. Um, helping a, I mean, for me, helping a young girl would be to help her to find her worth because oftentimes as teenage girls are in their teenage years, they think that their value and their worth is based on what a boy may tell them. And that's just not the case. And so letting them know that they are valuable and they are worth more than they could imagine, not just through their parents' eyes, but through the eyes of others as well, inside or outside of that relationship is going to change the way she views herself and that relationship. I like to ask the question, if this were to continue for years and years and years, would that be okay? Uh, because just because you've, uh, I don't know, been dating for a long time, uh, doesn't mean that you're particularly going to change. And so pay attention to what people are doing and then ask the question, is this okay for a long time? If it isn't, eh, am I I want to step out of there, yeah. I, I, if, when you're dealing with somebody who's self-absorbed, I think the thing is to make sure that you're not unhealthy and you're expecting like an, an, an unrealistic amount of, of, of uh, you know, attention or whatever. And, and if you realize that you're expecting a healthy amount of attention and this person just isn't giving it to you, listen, we all have a need for love and belonging and to be accepted and valued. Um, and so I think maybe just asking a question, hey, I noticed that you're... <laughs> You seem to like yourself a lot. <laughs> Am I going to be a part of that picture? Sometimes you just have to have that conversation. And then there's also like getting the person to see beyond themselves. If this person were to treat your best friend that way, would that be acceptable or would you be mad? Yeah. Because if you would be mad if they treated your best friend that way, you should feel the same way about yourself because you, you're worth that much as well. Yeah, well, if you guys are dealing with any kind of issues uh, with uh, self-absorbed -absor spouses or mates or boyfriends or girlfriends, yes, uh, give us a call. We'd love to help you guys out with that.